Yeah, I was really pleased with um, our effort and uh, just our intensity. I think we started the game, uh, came out of the locker room, and, you know, I talked to them about getting off to a good start, and I think we did that. Um, I was really just pleased, like you said, a lot of different things. You know, first, you know, we made free throws tonight, uh, which was was really important. Um, but we got on the boards, too, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Jalen McClain had an unbelievable game, had a double-double, and was just rebounding and doing a lot of things. And then Chastity was, you know, back to her normal self. So I uh, was looking for uh, her shots on the inside or whatever they gave her, and I think she just continued to keep getting better throughout the game. Um, and I think Alexis uh, struggled a little bit. I think she only had two in the first half um, but uh, talked to her at uh, halftime about just calming down and just letting the game come to her and I think you know so I'm really proud of the team uh, I think we got a chance to see a lot of different uh, rotations and different substitute patterns where we're trying to work on this is you know I keep saying to myself this is the third game of the season so we're going to have to continue to keep working so uh, we can just continue to build on the things that we're working on you look down the box for 25 second chance points. Yes, and I think, you know, that was something uh, we emphasized in practice when we got back because uh, we got it handed to us at Vandy uh, and didn't go to the boards hard enough. Uh, I, we understand as coaches that you're not going to get every rebound, but the effort is what we've been talking to them a lot about. And I think the next thing, too, is uh, we try to focus on defense. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get them to uh, focus on how many stops we can get and just different things that we've been doing. And I was proud of them for, you know, working on those things. Of course, we still gave up nine threes but I mean they shoot the three it, I mean that's what they do and uh, you know it's hard sometimes to be able to cover up but I felt like we did a good job in some you know some cases so we just got to go back and watch the film and keep working on the things we need to with adjustments no I think it was huge because you know and what I'm excited about too is I had my two post players Jalen and uh, Chastity take two charges so when you put them in position where they're in good defense deep defensive position that's what we've been working on so really proud because I feel like it carried over in the game. Every noble plays 12 minutes, four points, and she's been through a lot in the last couple of years with the ACL injuries. As a coach, how proud does that make you just that she gets out there and was able to play and really contribute today? Really proud. It's uh, it's kind of like a mom, you know. Uh, I'm really happy for her uh, because Kendall was one of the first ones that really believed in this program and what we was trying to do. Uh, and it's been tough. It's been a tough ride for her. And it's been tough for me as a coach to see her have to go through it. Uh, but I'm super proud of her uh, and her perseverance and what she's been working to do. And uh, so it was a proud moment for me to see her check in and uh, just have the opportunity to get out on the court. And the biggest thing, too, is uh, I think the fans were really anticipating have an opportunity to see her, and I think that's the greatest thing. She'll continue to keep getting better, and uh, we're going to continue to keep monitoring her uh, for so we can make sure that uh, we can have her for a while. I think Bria was the first player off the bench. Has she impressed you in practice? She has. She's, she's gotten better and better. And, uh, you know, our goal, as we said, is to continue to keep getting her better. So when it uh, becomes conference time and, you know, different times when we have to go up against some bigger bodies, she's going to continue to keep getting those minutes. Uh, and she's she's proven in practice. She's gotten better each and every day. And uh, that's really uh, impressive to us and the coaches. And uh, it's also good, too, because it helps out a little uh, with chastity and rotating different people. So we're just working on that, trying to get her more comfortable uh, in getting some of those minutes. No, it, it's a big deal because then you you look at a uh, three post rotation where I know every every day what you're getting, uh, and that's our ultimate goal. And I think Ruta will come along. Uh, she just has to continue to keep getting stronger, uh, and I think the game is moving a little fast for her right now. So we're continuing to keep working to to build on uh, her also coming along. So um, you know, like you said, I think it's it's really awesome. Uh, Jalen McLean's whole uh, approach to the game is totally different now. She's more aggressive. She's looking for the different things. She's taking a shot, being more confident. Uh, but that's the Jalen McClain I watched in high school. So uh, I know, uh, you know, kudos to uh, Mary Taylor and them for signing Jalen because uh, she was she's definitely a great kid and she's going to continue to keep getting better. Michael, with lights out tonight, shoot the ball. What kind of added dimension does that give your team if the team decided to maybe try to double chassis or Alexis and maybe give you up the 
Well, I think it's great when I can get her to shoot it. Uh, we called a timeout and uh, we ran a play and I drew a play up specifically for her and she didn't shoot it. So I called her over do, uh, doing the free throw and, I, and she said, I didn't think I was open. So I said, you was open. So then she said, let me shoot it again. I'll shoot it again. So she went out and made two for me. So uh, Micah is a very competitive and a unbelievable key, uh, player to coach. Uh, so it, it really helps us out a ton if she's shooting it that way because you're right, it opens up the inside a lot. Well, I think the biggest thing is they're very well coached. Um, they're, they're not going to press us, but I think they switch. They do a lot of different change-ups on defense. Uh, and they have some kids that can shoot it too. Uh, and they like to put it on the floor and get to the basket. And uh, they have a couple of kids that rebound really well. Um, so we're going to have to go in on the road and, and, and try to focus and buckle down and, uh, you know, try to take care of some business. They beat a, a, a really, really good team in Bradley the other day at their place. Uh, so uh, they'll be coming off a win at their place too. So it's going to be tough for us to go in there. We're going to have to focus on the things that we did, we've been doing. Um, we we'll have to take care of the basketball, make free throws, and we're going to have to guard. Uh, so uh, I think, you know, and now as everyone's going into their, their you know, like their fourth game, uh, you make adjustments so everybody's getting a chance to scout and get films and, and everything on everybody. So uh, we're going to have to adjust and, and be ready because they'll be ready for some of the things that we did off of this game. Okay,